Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we'll just be a quick video, you know, covering the logarithmic function properties. So I'll go over the product rule, quotient rule, power rule, and then we have a couple example problems just utilizing it to expand stuff. So yeah, let's just get going. Uh, first, I'll show you the proof for all of these properties. So for the product rule, essentially we have, let's say, A and B. So A could be something like 2 and B could be something like x squared, right? So essentially what you're doing is you're breaking things apart so you can expand it further. Um, the first thing to realize here is that A can also be written as x, which is like the base of the logarithm, uh, x to the power of log A, and then B can be written as x to the log B. Um, an example of this is let's say you have 10 to the power of log 100. So in our case, A would be uh, 100, and this simplifies to log 100 is just 2, so then 10 to the power of 2 is 100. So you can see how that uh, rule works. Um, so now we can just replace it because we know that each of these has its uh, substitutes. So A times B is now really just X to the power of log A times X to the log B. And so this is the first step of our proof. Now the second step of this proof is just using exponent properties. So now AB equals X, and then we have like terms, right? X is the like term. So we can just write this as X to the power of log A plus log B. And now for the final step of the proof, we just take the log of each side to cancel out this X, because uh, this is the base. So if we take, oops, not this, log a b let's just write x there as the uh, base of the thing is just going to be equivalent the x just dies so we have log a plus log b and that is our product rule let's move on to the quotient rule so now we already know what a over b is um, because of the substitutes uh, that we proved up here so a is going to be x to the power of log a and b is going to be x to the log b and we can do the same thing with the exponent rules now and so this just simplifies to x log a minus log b and then the final step is to just take the log of both sides like we did with the product rule so log of a b is equivalent to log a minus log b. That was a little funky, but that is our quotient rule. All right, so the final uh, property I'll cover here today in this video is the power rule. So this one is a uh, to the power of b, so that's just equivalent to, yeah, it's just x to the power of log a, and then everything is to the power of b, like stated here. All right, we just substituted, so that's the first step. Now the second step is again exponent properties. So a to the power of b is equivalent to x log a times b inside. And now, like we did before, if we take the log both sides, log a to the power of b is going to be equivalent to log a times b. Um, think about it as log a, like the value of log a times b, not log of, of a times b. So this b isn't within the log. Um, that's why it can be re rewritten as, as like this, b times, put this in parentheses, and that is our product, uh, sorry, power rule. All right, now let's get on to some practice problems utilizing uh, these rules. All right, so we need to estimate the values, and we know that log of two is approximately 0 0.3, and log of 5 is approximately 0 0.7, and we need to estimate the value of log 25 and log 5 over 4. Pause the video and see if you can employ the rules and properties um, to estimate the values. All right, so let's uh, estimate these out, shall we? So log of 25, there's two ways to think about this. Um, first, this is really just, you know, log, oops, that's a little funky, log 25 is really just 5 times 5, right? And we know using the product rule, when you have like a times b, that's really just log 5 plus log 5. And log 5 plus log 5, 
log five we know is 0 0.7 so that will give us around 1.4 another way to think about this is using the powell rule so log of 25 is also or it can also be written as log 5 to the power of 2 or 5 squared and that's just going to be equivalent to 2 times log of 5 using the power rule and 2 times 2 times 0 0.7 is 1.4. And you can see how that is the same value. All right, let's move on to log 5 over 4. This one, we are going to have to use the quotient rule. So this one would just be log 5 over 4. That's equivalent to log 5 minus log 4. So log 4 can also be written as... Um, log 2 squared, right? And then subtract log 5. And so what we end up getting is 2 times log 2, everything here, and then subtract from log 5. So we know log 5 is 0 0.7, and then we're just doubling log 2, which is 0 0.3 times 2 is 0 0.6. And that gives us the estimated value of 0 0.1 for log 5 over 4. All right, let's get to some more complicated examples. And now we want to expand. Log 8m times n. So this one is just simply the product rule. And so we can break this into log 8 plus log m plus log of n. Let's move on. This one is also the product rule. However, it's multi-stepped and we will also employ the Powell rule. So log base five, eight X cubed is written as log base five, eight plus log base five X cubed. And this X cubed can be written uh, or, or expanded further using our uh, power rule. So this is just written as log base five, 8 plus 3 times log base 5x, and that is the expanded version. Let's move on. Now we have an interesting problem, log of square root 9x. So we see these two variables multiplied, product rule. So log square root 9 plus log square root x. And what is the square root of 9? Well, the square root of 9 is just 3, so that's already simplified. Um, and in my opinion, this should be simplified further. Um, so square root of x can really just be written as, or easier way to think about this is what square root or x to the power of what gives you square root of x? That would be 1 half. So technically, you could simplify this further down using the power rule. So 1 half log x. Right, because you know x to the one half power is square root x. If it'll let me write. All right, there we go. And the final example for today's video is log base six, five x squared over y. So we're gonna employ the quotient rule. So the quotient rule is gonna be log five x squared minus log Ooh, I should write base 6 because we don't want it to be log base 10 because that's not what the problem says. All right, so this side is already simplified, but this side has to be simplified further using our our um, product rule. Yeah, product rule. All right, so log base 6, 5 plus log base 6, x squared. And this part can be simplified further using our... Uh, power rule. Okay, it's kind of hard to keep track of all of them, but this side simplified, so log base 6, 5, plus, oops, yeah, plus, and then we just have 2 times log base 6, x. All right, and then when this side's already simplified, so we just bring this down, log base 6, y. 
And let me just make sure I check my work. Okay. And that should be the solution for four. So yeah, that should do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys learned something. And yeah, thank you guys for watching.